Hey everybody, so I have a quick haul from Home Depot, um, upcoming up project. Um, so please stick around, check out the video, and I'll see you guys there. Thank you for watching. Hey everybody, so I picked up a bunch of stuff from Home Depot. I have an upcoming project. I'm going to be repairing um, the front side gate, which is a, a metal gate with wooden slats in it. So these are the items that I picked up. Some of them were for the project, some of them were because I thought they were um, something useful that I could grab and use. So I'm bringing everything out of these bags real quick. The lady at Home Depot in the paint section, because um, I wanted to see what a specific color paint looked like. She was nice enough to mix this little color sample from Bear. Um, and this is a dark crimson red. She ended up, this jar is usually like three something. I don't remember exactly what she said, but it's usually three dollars some cents. And she mixed this up to show us on a paper. It's kind of got this like a pinkish color, but when it's actually on an item, it has this dark red crimson look. Um, this is Ball Bear Ultra paint. Uh, she stated this is actually, it's a satin finished deep base. This is actually an interior paint. What I was um, getting I needed for exterior. And instead of charging us, she gave us this for free, which it's, uh, 7.25 fluid ounces, which was kind of nice of her. Um, I grabbed a couple other items. I grabbed this because I thought it was pretty cool. It says HP Co. Handy Paint Pail. This one was $10. It was like $9.90 something. Um, they had a smaller version that didn't have an adjustable handle. Um, and it's got a magnet on the inside. I thought it was cool. I picked up this Woodster Ultra Pro Firm 3 inch brush for this project. Um, it says all paints complete performance, precision control, and durable wall and trim. It is an angled brush. Um, and I didn't realize this, but uh, a lot of these newer brushes, I guess they're um, stainless steel. So they're actually magnetic. I thought it was kind of neat. So. Um, I picked this brush up and some other items for the project. Um, so that was one of the items I thought was pretty neat. Um, as well as these paint can lids, these pour in stores. I thought this was neat because I've seen Caleb from uh, You Can Make This Too. Um, his channel, I'll put his link up here. Um, he uses these as well. I thought it was pretty neat So I figured I'd pick a couple of them up. They were like three dollars a piece, which wasn't much They're not really that expensive So I picked two of those up um, This and the wooden stir sticks The lady in the paint section gave them to me for free. I think they normally give these for free anyways uh, but the lady was really nice. I think they usually only give you like one stir stick per can. And she was nice enough to give me the three. And a opener, which I have a bunch of openers, not a big deal. And then I picked up, um, let me show you guys where it's the baggie. Baggie's right here. So I had customized the gate originally with a two by four to put up a, a heavy duty gate latch. Um, and these are the, the lags that I took out as well as the screws that was holding that two by four to the, the gate wood and one bolt. 
Um, and this ended up being a 5 16 bolt by 18 inch thread pitch. And I went and grabbed some more. Um, and uh, these were the only screws I had at the time. That was why I used them, which were just black oxide screws. I picked up to replace those two number nine boxes, which I'm not gonna use both of these boxes or all four of these boxes. I got two number eight by two inch and two number by nine by two and a half inch. And these are both star uh, or Torx 25 drive. Um, I only had, what's in this baggie? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I only had 12 in it originally. Um, so, um, one of these might not be used for the project, it might be just too long, um, but I grabbed both just in case. Um, so that was the reason I picked these up, and they're the yellow zinc plated uh, models. <coughs> as well as I picked up a full gallon of that crimson red, um, and I paid, I think it was, it was 39 plus oh, it, was, it was 32 for the just the base and then it ended up being like $39 and like 40 or something cents for the whole can which I didn't think was a big deal it was her recommendation which was the paint and primer in one deep base um, and it's water based so it's it's kind of easy cleanup and that's the color on the can it's a lot darker than what the camera shows camera kind of shows it like a purplish reddish pink color it's actually a really dark red um, and the, these are some just 12 um, washers I picked up I think they're 3 8 washers um, they fit over 5 16 bolts I picked up three uh, two and a half inch or three inch um, 5 16 by 18 thread pitch bolts as well as um, two two inch or two and a half inch I believe these are two and a half inch um, same five sixteenths bolts with 18 thread pitch I picked up a box of one quarter inch by 20 coarse threaded hundred pack nuts and these are to replace the ones that are on the gate and then these are quarter inch by 20 inch by one and a half inch long hundred pack coarse uh, carriage bolts and these are to replace what's on the gate as well um, should be light enough outside where the light on the camera should help but I'll show you guys what the project is so outside um, in previous videos outside there was no pavers here um, my wife had came up with the idea because she got tired of the dogs digging holes. They're right there. Hold on. Hi, Harley. Um, they were digging really deep holes right here, so we ended up filling them back in, putting pavers here. This set of pavers right here that's in front of the back door, these pavers were always here. And there was a huge amount of holes over here as well. So we put pavers here, and I utilized the tool connect DeWalt light and I hung it from nails that's on the roof line to provide light while we were out here. I went through three batteries in, in two days, which isn't bad for that light, especially at 5,000 lumens being on high. Um, kind of tied this Bogan Via up, trying to fix the holes. We still haven't uh, finished putting all the, filling all of the holes, but we're getting it cleaned up. So those, um, here is the gate that we're gonna be um, fixing. This piece down here is completely broken. It's leaning out. Um, I'm gonna end up, the boards I got are longer than these. They're redwood boards. Um, they're actually picket fence style boards. They have the rounded curve on the top of them. The, the rounded curve that does this. We're gonna cut those off. I'm gonna straighten them. Probably gonna use the DeWalt Flexvolt um, miter saw to do so. Cut them to length. We're gonna stick them in here. 
but all of these bolts right here, like there's one missing, um, and nuts are basically just carriage bolts. And here's the heavy duty latch, and that's this uh, one inch material right here I bolted right here was because the gate would swing both directions and I didn't want it swinging both directions. So I bolted this to the, the frame, the wooden frame of the house. That way the gate doesn't, it physically stops there. That was why that was put there. And then here's the two by four that I just recently cut. I cut it a, yesterday um, because the other one was dry rotted. Um, but I'm gonna have to take the sign off. We're gonna have to redo the, the fence and everything. And I'm taking all the panels out. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten panels in this gate. Um, it's actually a pretty wide gate. So, but you can see these are rounded at one end. They're actual carriage bolts. So they have the, the square receiver on the bolt. Um, so I'm mean, gonna end up having to customize those pieces, which is why I grabbed new hardware because this is just what I had, but I didn't have enough. These two are actually zinc plated and ye yellow zinc plated, and this one's like a, a zinc or silver color. So I grabbed hardware to match. We're gonna have to take that two by four back off um, so I can replace these panels. Um, to do the best I can, you know, this one looks like it was replaced before and it's not the same width as some of these Some of these are a lot smaller than others but uh So I don't know if you guys are would be interested in seeing that I figured I'd show a, a, At least show you guys what the project is um, I'll probably record it and if you guys tell me you don't want to see it. I just won't post it Um but that's the upcoming project on this side the front you can see how much is missing from the board um, the actual carriage bolts missing at the bottom you know this this board it's been here since the house is built in the 60s so it's been here a while um, it's definitely not doing so great the paint whatever paint color they use I don't know and I, use, I grabbed the dark crimson color because I was trying to get a little darker than this. Um, I don't think I'm gonna paint the gate. The gate I could probably paint the gate um, with black, but I figured I could probably do that down the road. I can just take the panels out or you know just brush black paint on it. Um, the other problem is, is I don't want to take the gate off because um, a lot of this hardware is broken, especially on the bottom. The bottom right here, you can see it, the bolts turning. The concrete, or the not the concrete, but the cinder block broke right there, so there's nothing holding the gate right there. So I'm afraid if I take the weight off of this bracket that the bracket's gonna fall off because the, the, the weight of the gate's tension is keeping the bracket from moving, and I'm afraid if I remove it, it's gonna cause a problem and the bracket will cease to be holding properly. So painting it would be kind of hard, especially since I have a truck parked right here in the front. The slightest amount of wind will make the, you know, cover my truck in spray paint. Um, figured I'd just show you guys this is an update. This is what we're doing in the back right now. Uh, there's my cherry picker and my engine stand that I need to move again. Just a small update here is the, the, the what I consider looks like picket fencing. Um, it's the, they said it was what, redwood? I believe it was redwood. Yes, redwood. Yeah, my wife just said it's redwood. So not all of these are the same. Some of them are actually different. Some of them have like, like a, a tan color in them, cream colored. Some of them are all red. Um, you know, I don't think it really matters because they're all going to be painted anyways. You know, this one's got an interesting pattern in it. Some of them have not, some of them don't. But uh, 
I'm gonna paint it to protect it. It's basically what I grabbed it for. I did utilize yesterday when I was trying to repair the gate when I installed that 2x4 for the latch. Um, I used the 998 and the, the Milwaukee Surge, so the DeWalt 998. It worked great. Definitely worked a lot better than my version of the 996. I know VCG Construction, I'll put a link up here, a lot of channels, they love the 996, didn't have any issues with it. Mine had an abundance of issues the moment I bought it. Um, you know, and it, it is what it is, it happens. Um, I will be going to like Tractor Supply today to go grab some lock nuts for these, because I already grabbed the washers. Um, but, you know, that's pretty much all, you know, everything I grabbed. These were given to me for free. Not a big deal. The brush is actually pretty nice for the $16 I paid for the brush. And I thought these lids would be come in handy and useful, especially when I start, you know, doing a lot of painting. You know, I need to paint the whole house and everything. But I appreciate you guys stopping by, checking out the video. If you guys don't want to see it, just let me know in the comments. I just won't post it. I'll probably record it anyways, just so you guys can, if you guys do want to see it, I don't have to record it after I finish the project. I'll uh, probably cut it in increments so that way it's not a 40 minute video. I'll just, you know, show a couple pertinent things going on. You know, me cutting the wood and everything, maybe, you know, a slight amount of me painting a couple of the boards, and then I'll show you guys it finished. Um, I already got suggestions that people wanted to see it, but they would, wouldn't mind seeing it in a time lapse. But here's the wood. Everything that's up here. Some of this was, was to have extra stock. I'm not going to use 127 uh, screws times two boxes or 85 screws times two boxes for the fence. It just easier to buy more than one. You know, since I use the two inch and the two and a half screws a lot for mounting stuff and all kinds of other things, I figured I might as well pick them up. And I do like the Torx screws way better than the Phillips. But, and this light, this is the light I was talking about that I've been using, we were using a lot. Those are control arms. Um, for, an, for a vehicle that I'm working on. And uh, you know, hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video. I do appreciate you guys hanging out with me today and checking out to see what projects are going on and everything. I uh, appreciate if you guys like, comment, or subscribe and smoosh the bell notification icon if you guys wanna see future updates. Please go check out my Amazon affiliate links, my Acme Tools affiliate links, my DJI Electronics affiliate links, as, my o as well as my Ohio Power Tools affiliate links. Appreciate you guys hanging out with me today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace!